This episode of Film London is made in and sponsored by Movavi Editor Plus. Roll the thing. This video sponsor. Woo! You made a person out of another person. Hello, Grant. Who are you? What's the matter? Don't recognize yourself. Sacre bleu. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning some filmmaking and learning it. And today is a different kind of episode of Film Learning. We're not working in After Effects, we're not working in Premiere Pro, we're not even working in Cinema 4D. No, today's episode is in Movavi Video Plus Editor. And why is that? Well, because they sponsored this episode and they asked me to. My God. For those of you who don't know, Movavi Video Editor is an easy to use, low cost video editing suite that is perfect for anyone starting out as a YouTuber or a filmmaker who just wants to, you know, dip their toe in without being overwhelmed with a bunch of stuff on screen. It's powerful enough to handle 4K footage, even if you have a slower computer, and contains a big selection of built in transitions, filters, and titles. But say you want more, you can always expand that by tapping into the Movavi Effects Store for stunning extra content by professional designers that is updated all the time. So today what I thought I'd do is replicate a cloning effect that I've done in the past where I've got myself interacting with Doug on screen or interacting with another version of myself, but doing that inside Movavi. Now in order to complete this effect, you'll need to go and download your seven day free trial of Movavi that is in the link in the description. So click on that and then come on back. The next thing you'll need to do is shoot your actor on one side of the screen and then head on over to the other side of the screen and shoot either your puppet or your dog or anything you want to do on the other side of the screen. Now we aren't just going to have one simple side by side shot. What I thought I'd do is complicate things just a little bit and have two over the shoulder shots as well, incorporating some green screen footage. So you'll also need to film your actor or your dog or whoever you're filming on a green screen with their back to camera. And that's it. Once you've got all that footage, we're going to jump into Movavi Editor Plus and get to work. Okay guys, so here we are in Movavi Editor Plus 2020. Now the first clone or puppet technique is pretty straightforward. My first step is to import my footage. So let's hit the add files button and grab our footage right here, just these two. So you can see I have Doug's side and I have mine. So let's start by dragging the clip with myself onto the timeline, like so. And then I'm just gonna grab both ends and trim it at both ends, as I only need the parts where the waveform down here is visible, since, you know, that's where I'm speaking. And I'll just finish it when I look at camera right here. Nice. Next, we need to layer Doug's clip on top which is easy. All we're gonna do is head to this button in the corner right here, and we're gonna click on that and add a new video track like so. We can now drop in Doug's clip. Now, this time we wanna trim the layer so that Doug's audio coincides with me asking him a question, as I didn't have anyone off screen reading my dialogue. I just kind of memorized the timing. So we can see the waveform shows us when Doug answers right here. So I'm gonna move this into the break in the waveform below and let's have a listen to a preview of that. So in just a few steps, you're able to interact with, say, a puppet. Isn't that right, Doug? Yeah, that's right. See? Pretty cool, huh? I thought it was, but stop talking. Hmm, sounds pretty natural now. So let's finish this. Let's double click on the Doug clip that will bring up the clip properties menu. And from there, since Doug is on the left side of the screen, I'm gonna select side by side, left, and bam. The boys are on screen together. And since I lit the screen with nice even light, there's no split screen seam to deal with. The effect just works and it only took one click and about two minutes of trimming. Cool, huh? Now, if we want to, we can click on the magic wand here and add a filter to spice it up. Maybe down to retro and grab one of these tube ones, I don't know, this one. And all we're gonna do is just make sure we drag and drop that on both clips, one and two. And if we check out a preview. So in just a few steps, you're able to interact with, say, a puppet. Isn't that right, Doug? Yeah, that's right. See? Pretty cool, huh? I thought it was, but stop talking. That, my friends, is all done. Okay, so say you want your clones to be a little more interactive. Maybe you don't want the restriction of having them stay on one side of the screen. We can combine this side by shot with an over the shoulder A and B camera setup, which you see on a lot of 
TV shows, and that is also pretty easy. We simply film the actor on a green screen with their back to camera, like so. Then, after we've imported the clips into Movavi, we drop the original shot on the timeline. We'll then follow that up by adding an extra video track by either clicking that button up there I just mentioned, or we can right click here and select add extra track. And then from that drop down menu, we select video track. We can then drop our green screen footage in and then I'll trim it to match our footage below. Done. From there, let's head to tools, find chroma key and apply the effect. Now, that looks pretty good for now. Now, one thing that is hampering this is my green screen actor not being exactly where I want them in the shot. And well, the fact that they aren't out of focus in such a tight shot when the background is out of focus, that's also a problem. So let's fix that. Let's start by double clicking on our green screen footage. We'll then select picture in picture from our clip properties and oh no, it shrunk our clip. Now you might think that this is a problem, but no, it's actually unlocked scaling and position controls. So now we're free to scale and position our green screen footage into place wherever we like. That looks pretty good. Now, the blur. From the filter section, let's select blur and grab blur intense and we'll drop that onto our newly scaled footage. Now for me, that's not quite blurry enough considering how far apart these characters are in our side by side shot. So let's just adjust that by double clicking on the clip and then jumping into the applied effects section. I'm gonna bump this blur up to around 60%. Done. If we check out a preview, we are now in a shot with ourselves overlapping on screen, no split screen required, and it was very easy. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. So in just a few steps, you're able to interact with, say, a puppet. Isn't that right, Doug? Yeah, that's right. See? Pretty cool, huh? I thought it was, but stop talking. So there you have it, guys. Two clone effects that you can do within Movavi Editor Plus pretty dang easily. Once again, guys, a big thank you to Movavi for sponsoring this episode. And if you'd like to check out Movavi Editor Plus or any of their other software, click that link down in the description and, well, check it out. And just on a side note, guys, I really want to thank Marta from Red Giant for sending me this t-shirt after I commented on a tweet on a Corridor Crew episode. So thank you very much, Marta. You are an absolute champion. But for now, guys, that's all i got for you. If you did enjoy the episode, please smash that like button. I really do appreciate it. And let me know in the comments if you want me to do anything else with Movavi. And as always, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button below and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss a single film learning episode. I've got two other episodes right over here as well as all my social media crap if you want to follow us for behind the scenes stuff and all that there's also a patreon if you want to help support us or you can click that join button below and join up with a youtube membership but until i see you again guys keep learning